Invictus director David Wiseman nullified fraud Invictus of Harry by giving Meg adequate punishments. Invictus director David Wiseman recently discussed the possible consequences of Meghan Markle's unusual actions during the Invictus Games. Wiseman, the head of the Invictus Games organization and a close friend of Prince Harry, described how Harry adopted a novel strategy at his Olympics debut. The Duke of Sussex, according to Wiseman, had a schedule for another Invictus Games. Harry's trip to the Warrior Games in 2013 was the inspiration for this strategy. The time period that Harry was thinking about was not completely known to Wiseman and the team at the time. According to Wiseman, we didn't really realize the time frame he had in mind. It was May 2013. We returned to the Warrior Games that afternoon, and he was on stage on the podium. I think in his speech, he wrote, Look, we want to do this. I think he added his own note saying that next year, we're going on. We've been like next year for a considerable amount of time, with just three or four of them managing the Invictus Fun, overseeing this ambitious project. They managed to get it up and running by September 2014, and the event took place at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. It was a close call, but they did it. Wiseman also shared his experience being in the United States with Prince Harry for the Warrior Games, emphasizing that this was not an official meeting. During a casual breakfast discussion, Harry expressed his enthusiasm for what they had witnessed. He proposed the idea of internationalizing the concept, inviting allies and countries from around the world hosting it at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park and ensuring it received wide coverage, including broadcasting. This is when the grand vision of the Invictus Games began to take shape. While Harry's dedication to creating an international platform for veterans was evident, the situation has taken a different turn since the involvement of Meghan Markle. Wiseman mentioned a series of emails from fans concerned about the reputation of the Invictus organization following the Invictus Games, Germany 2020. Some even asked Harry to be removed from his role completely. However, this decision was not simple due to his important role in establishing it. The board of directors is now contemplating a plan that could give him another chance, but it comes with the condition that Meghan Markle cannot attend any more events. The heart of the problem lies more in the couple's approach than demonstrating their commitment to veterans. They've been criticized for being too focused on their own image. For example, if they watched their own Invictus documentary, they would have had countless inspiring stories about veterans to share in their speeches instead of talking about unrelated topics like milkshakes. They could have honored the veterans who overcame adversity to participate in Invictus, choosing to wear Invictus gear and mingle with the supporters and workers would have shown a lot more genuine care than the veterans in the game. Furthermore, by walking behind the marching veterans, they could have shown deep respect for those who have sacrificed so much in the ongoing struggle for democracy, actively participating in the war, join the games. Instead of focusing on the camera, they'll show their genuine interest in the teams. It's important to maintain professionalism throughout the process, demonstrating their dedication to representing Invictus Games. Unfortunately, their actions sometimes give the impression that they see themselves as a special guest rather than dedicated supporters of the cause. That's a lesson they seem slow to learn.